Robbie, that's a, a great start to our Papa John's trophy campaign. What are your thoughts on the game tonight? It wasn't a great start in the first half. Um, I thought we were, I'll, I'll be generous and say, looked a bit disjointed. Um, lots of changes, players that haven't had full weeks of training, um, but getting important minutes as well. Um, so, yeah, I thought first half, um, the attitude as, mu- as much as anything. And I mean, that, and I don't think they mean to do it, but sometimes these games against younger opposition, shall we say, um, challenges you mentally and I thought Liverpool were very good they move around the ball around very quickly obviously very technical players and um, yeah I was a bit a bit disappointed in this and um, just reminded uh, the players at half time some of them the senior players were fine I thought I thought they tried to drive it but just the, the standards that we expect and we set each other and I thought second half we did that they tired uh, it's obvious to see but at the same time they tired because we were more at it so scored some really good goals clean sheet um, so yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a nice little confidence booster for the, for the players that are on the pitch Despite the first half performance uh, Liam Kelly who you gave debut today um, scored a fantastic goal and what do you make of his performance overall? Yeah, he's, he's got quality isn't he you can, you can see that in abundance um, he's different to maybe some of the other players we've got um, so hopefully you know those, those tight games which we've already had a couple this season he, he could maybe unlock defences for us um, but again, we, you know, it's it's his first game. He's only trained with us really three or four days. Uh, George Broadbent coming back from COVID, I thought was excellent tonight. He's only trained three or four days. Aidan White the same. Um, Joe Dunn played his first game for us this season. Um, so there was there was loads of little bits like that which probably contribute and maybe I'm being a bit bit hard on on the players. But you, you just want to try and push them every day to be to be better than what they were. So. Um, like you say, second half, I thought we, we, we had a bit more um, a bit more dynamic in, st- in terms of how we played, pressed it a little bit better, passed the ball forward a little bit better and you, you see the rewards that they get. What did you have to say at half-time to, to those players to sort of bring that, that performance in the second period? Um, well, listen, I've got to pick a team for Saturday. I just reminded them that and who's doing enough for me for them to be my thoughts. Um, you know, when you sometimes when you make changes and with all due respect, you're playing an under twenty ones team and you know the crowd work were good, but it's it's quite a, a subdued atmosphere, let's say, compared to a normal league game. Um, it can drift into a sort of reserve style game and I thought it did first half. So we just reminded them that listen, that's what not what we're, we're about. Um, and they took it on board, so credit to them. But you know, on the back of that was was, was pleasing but um, again, there'll be tougher tests to have, but I, I thought Liverpool were, were very good. As you can see, very very gifted players that they've got. And they probably sort of ran out of steam a little bit as we stepped it up, so that was pleasing. Yeah, you mentioned Jordan previously in one of your answers. Um, obviously, his first start for you yeah. um, tonight. What did you make of his performance? Very good, very good. Joe's got um, lots of ability. I spoke with Joe yesterday. Um, I want him to believe in himself as much as what the staff and the other players see in him. Um, you know he's uh, he's quite a quiet boy. There's no problem with that. But on the pitch, he needs just to be a little bit louder, and that will help his game. But I thought he was excellent tonight. You know, he's stepping in, he's passing, he's covering. His one v one defender was very good. So um, he should be really pleased with his night's work. And George Broadbent as well. A second start for him. Obviously been missing through COVID, um, but he, he didn't look like he'd, he'd been missing through. No, stop. Sort of it's been in. stop start for him, hasn't it? Um, he's a strong boy anyway. He's physical. He gets around the pitch. Um, I think our supporters will really enjoy watching him play. But again, he's, you've got to remember he's he's he's, he's very young. Um, but he he plays older, if that makes sense. I was really pleased with Ethan when he came on. He was he was really unlucky not to start. Um, but I just felt in the formation we've been playing, there was players that needed minutes more than him. But Ethan's going to be a, a very very good player. You can see that straight away. Uh, his passing range is excellent and he's he's willing to learn so he'll, he'll, he'll no doubt get more minutes for us as well. Uh, just finally, Jay Lynch has injured in the warm-up on Friday night. Is there a latest update on him since then? Yeah, I think he's improved quite significantly. Um, I'd expect him to be training on Thursday. Um, so that's, that's good. As many players as I've got available, the better.